chapter number 13 it is uh, other useful free tools and uh, different services right so let's start that chapter it is uh, chapter number 13 last chapter quick chapter summary so first topic it is uh, data compression so data compression techniques to place a whole directory structure into a single file convenience which is called archive and reducing the storage requirement of computer files and the di different directory structures which is called data compression so data compression it is generally work uh, by identifying the repetition in the data and encoding the data in the way that reduce or eliminate such repetition so in the data comparisons the uh, beginning of the table with a caret symbol and end of the table with the dollar symbol and so linux it will provides a free and open source software for managing this type of archive files which is called the archive manager and tap at archivers it is tar it is the most common archive format right and most common uh, compressed file formats are the zip file format and the tar zz file format so gnu zip software it is used to compress the file with tar zz and call tarball right and uh, used for backups and transfer by using an external storage devices for transfer by using the network or by saving the disk space etc after the next one it is the vlc player full form of vlc is video lan client started as an academic project by the music loving students of university in paris now community project available under multiple operating systems and billions times downloaded vlc player right so and conversions in the coding and the reserve conversions it is decoding it is performed by this software components that is called codec right coder in decoder it supports the multi file formats like m3u it is the most common file format right all latest uh, file formats are supported vlc and vlc displays a progress bar showing the current tracks and has been played and what it is its duration it is also displayed that vlc player after the vlc media players uh, different menus and commands right if you want to start media, media player and go to application sound and video and vlc media player open a one or more files go to the media and open file open an entire directory go to the media and open directory after that save the playlist you go to the media and playlist to file and view the playlist go to the view and playlist and the last one it is convert the multimedia file go to the media and convert and save that converted file after the next topic it is the google maps it is uh, uh, free internet based services provided by the google right and google collected the extensive map data for the whole earth through the various means like the sat uh, satellite imagery then car with the cameras uh, and the data purchased from the different organizations and data provided by the millions of individuals and uh, the sites are the google.co.in or uh, and go to the maps and uh, maps.google.co.in right users locations uh, it is known as global positioning system right the facility is used that is the gps after the next topic is the character map it is used uh, to enter unicode characters into an app any applications first select the script right from the left pen and then double click on the character and insert into the text to copy right it is given here one character map right so you select that character right after that uh, it is copied right and then 
uh, select and copy and then uh, you can paste it right after that uh, type a few characters in another script right occasionally then the character map it is good solutions for that after that r software it is uh, free software environment for statistical computing then it is a gnu project and widely used for such statistical analysis right it has uh, its own scripting language it is a case sensitive language r has two work environment that is command and graphical so in the graphical editor r commander or the r studios are available to invoke r script from the terminal window you have to open terminal and write r command right on the command prompt after that r software it is the basic data types are their number and strings so strings may be enclosed in the single quote or the double quotes right and uh, the symbol it is greater than sign symbol shows the prompt of the r right r uses hash to as the command marker any text following with the hash sign up to the end of the line it is treated as command right graph created by using the bar plot function after that r software related details are given as well as the different commands are given here right so for quitting the r q is used uh, if, if you want help then go to the help option help command after that viewing the some demonstrations demo command is used after that for online help in the browser go to help and dot star uh, help dot start help on the particular functions write of help and in bracket function name after that display a list of variables ls is used after that uh, to find the maximum value the uh, minimum value sorry that is uh, minimum and list is uh, that command is used if you want to find the maximum write max and list after that to find the mean value write mean and list and to find the medium median then write median command after the next topic it is the rational plan it is uh, used for preparing maintaining following uh, a well defined project plan right so there are three desktop environments are available single multiple and viewer so what is in that single it manages independent project that do not have common resources and has no interrelation between the different projects right and what is in that multiple it manages the projects that share companies that share company resources across projects it manages interdependencies between projects and the last one it is the viewer right it is an additional tool that develop to share the project in its original file format that is uh, xrp right so this is the file format xrp and it is available in the different ubuntu and other open source operating system versions after that next one this skype the yahoo messengers or the google talk and the ready poll are the instance messaging services right and uh, it's real time chatting with the text audio and the different videos skype allows us to make call over the internet by using computer then skype services allow users to communicate with the peers using voice video as well as text skype services it is free of charge and it provides the file transfer video conferencing right it can be downloaded free of cost right through its resources right source code and proprietary and does not it is not available for modification modification right to start guys skype go to the applications internet and skype right in the open source operating system like ubuntu right so best wishes for board exam